So in this video, I'll be going over my music format and showing how easy it is to play through these songs um, and also go over how the backing tracks uh, match those exactly. So first song I'm going to look at here, there's about three different scenarios that, that I need to explain. Uh, so the first song let's take a look at is Molly and Tin Brooks. All right. So here's the song Molly and Tin Brooks. All right. Now, if you look at this format, each box is a half measure of music, or one downbeat and one upbeat. So the left side of each box is a downbeat. The right side of each box is the upbeat. Okay. So. We, so two boxes together makes up a whole measure, and so we have two measures per row in this song that cuts off here in one measure, but uh, the colors uh, represent the chords in the song. I call this the quick chord reference up here, so if we're playing in the key of G, yellow is G, blue is C, and red is D. Okay. So, if we were playing through this song in G, now I'm just going to vamp through this, so if you are going to practice your backup with these, uh, this format it makes it pretty easy, so each box you're going to hit a bass and vamp. So, in G it would be, run Molly run, run Molly run, Tim Brooks going to beat you to the bright shining sun, to the bright shining sun, oh Lord, to the bright shining sun. Alright, now that's in G. What if we want to play it in A? So the colors don't change if we change keys because it's based on the chord number, the one, four, five chords, not the chord itself. So we're going to play this in A. Yellow is A, blue is D, and red is E. All right. Then we can just do the same thing here. All right. Uh, run, Molly, run. Run, Molly, run. Tim Brooks gonna beat you to the bright shining sun, to the bright shining sun, oh Lord, to the bright shining sun. Right? So, makes it easy to change keys if you'd like to. Now, um, so let's talk about the, uh, the backing tracks, whether it's the melody tracks or the backing tracks, they match this format exactly. Okay, so if I were to play, let's just say the, uh, Oh, no. Let's go to the 80 beat per minute melody track. It's going to count in. It's going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, play. And we're going to start on this particular song. There is no pickup notes, so it's going to we're going to start playing right there after that after that tap in on run. Okay, let me give you that example here. Let's play the 80 beat per minute track. So the next scenario would be, uh, let's look at the song, Rolling My Sweet Baby's Arms. All right. Now here, you see this little box sticking out here on the left side over here. That is a pickup note. Okay, it's a half measure and that's how the backing track is going to start. So I suggest just don't don't start until the word ain't, okay? Because it's going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, ain't. We're going to start on ain't. You're going to hear the music start and then ain't. So let's let's listen to that real quick. Something else to see on this particular song is 
right here which says start next verse. Okay, so when we get down here, when we come back around, okay, after we finish the chorus, the uh, we start the chorus or we start the next verse here, and the verse two is starts with her. You'll see it here. Her parents never did like me. Okay, so we start. Her parents would fall where ain't is here, and each line of these next verses lines up for each row here. So the next verse would be her, and we'd start playing here. We don't play this again, okay? Parents, they never did like me, okay? Like me falls on the next line, right? The next song I'd like to look at is the last scenario, and that would be, let's look at Sitting on Top of the World. Now this one has a whole measure of pickup notes here, okay? Again, it's going. To, the, the tracks are going to start playing on this on this uh, measure here, but again, don't, don't don't start until the word spring here. So you'll hear the back of the track kick in and go. Was in the spring on a sunny day, my sweetie left me. Yes, she went away. Okay, so don't start your playing either playing back up or, pick, or picking until the word spring. Now something else different here we have start chorus okay so and now she's gone okay this is where we start the chorus here and then again we have another start next verse here she called me in Dallas will start where spring is right so we're playing along where she called me in Dallas from El Paso Said, come back, Daddy. Lord, I miss you so. And now she's gone. I don't worry. Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world. Don't come here running, holding out your hand. Right? So that's how these songs are put together. Again, let's take a listen to this melody track and uh, let's start on spring. Got it now. So that's pretty much everything that you run across. Oh, I didn't show you this. So uh, the little seven, the little uppercase seven here, you see, uh, in these boxes indicates a seventh chord. So, um, so yeah, if you're playing that, you know, was in the spring on a sunny day, my sweetie left me. Yes, she went away. Okay. So and we also have a D seven down here. So. Uh, that's pretty much everything that you will see in my uh, music format, so give it a shot and go out there and learn all these great songs.